All right, let's journey deep into Western Australia, where a massive treasure chest has just had its official price tag revealed. We're talking about the Javieron Gold Copper Project. The results from its massive feasibility study are finally in. And believe me, the numbers suggest this isn't just another big mine. This could be a total game changer for Australian resources. So let's dig in. So here's how we're gonna break it down. First, we're gonna hit you with the big headline grabbing reveal. Then we'll take a closer look at what's actually in the ground. After that, we'll unpack the incredibly clever plan to get it all out, crunch the numbers to see the financial payoff, and finally, we'll take a balanced look at the future potential and of course, the risks that lie ahead. Okay, section one, the big reveal. You know, after years of drilling, planning, and analysis, this study confirms what everybody was hoping for, and it all really boils down to three huge numbers that pretty much tell the whole story. First up, the headline value. That's a post-tax net present value of 2.9 billion Australian dollars. And just to be clear, that's what the project is worth in today's money. A number that huge immediately launches Havion into the big leagues, what the industry calls a tier one asset. So you might be asking, where does a billion dollar value like that even come from? Well, it comes from this, a confirmed proven ore reserve of 3.3 million ounces of gold. Oh, and that's not even counting a whole lot of valuable copper too. That is the treasure chest they have now proven is locked deep in the ground. And third, the absolute engine of this project, it's cash generating power. Once this thing is fully up and running, the mine is projected to spit out an average of $739 million in pre-tax free cash flow every single year. That's the fuel that makes this whole thing go. And you can just feel the confidence coming straight from the top. The managing director, Sean Day, puts it perfectly. This isn't just a discovery anymore. No, this is the official blueprint for a long-life, low-cost Australian mine that's absolutely built to last. So that's the big picture. Now for section two, let's really get into the nitty gritty. What exactly have they found down there? And more importantly, why is everyone so much more confident about it today than they were just a couple of years ago? And here's why that confidence has shot through the roof. This member hasn't been sitting still. Just a few years back, the proven reserve was 2.4 million ounces. But with a ton more drilling, they've boosted that by a massive 36%, which brings us to the 3.3 million ounces we have today. And what that means is simple. More proven gold equals less risk and a whole lot more value. Now, to put that number into perspective for you, this isn't just another big deposit. Havion is now the third largest underground gold reserve in all of Australia. But here's the kicker. It's the biggest one that's not already owned by some global mining giant. That makes it a uniquely powerful and important Australian asset. All right, on to section three, the plan to mine. Because look, having this much gold is one thing. But the real question is, how do you get it out of the ground efficiently and profitably? Well, the strategy here is, it's just plain smart. Here is hands down the single smartest part of this entire plan. Instead of spending billions of dollars and years of time building a brand new processing plant, they're simply going to use the existing Telfer mill, which is just down the road. It's kind of like building a brand new super powerful engine, but then just plugging it into a factory that's already built and running. It saves an absolute fortune and shaves years off the timeline. The way they'll get the rock out is a really clever three-stage evolution. To kick things off, they'll just truck the ore up the main tunnel. Simple. But here's the cool part. While that's happening and already generating cash flow, they'll be building the real powerhouse, a dedicated conveyor belt system with its own tunnel and an underground crusher. And once that's online, they just flick a switch, hit peak production, and let the conveyor do all the heavy lifting 24-7. All this incredible planning leads us right here to section four, the financial payoff. Let's get into the numbers that really matter for any mine, what it costs, how much it makes, and of course, where the money to build it comes from. Okay, before I throw the next number at you, we gotta quickly understand a key term, AISC. Just think of it as the true all-in cost to produce one single ounce of gold. It covers everything. And here's the really clever part. Since they're also digging up valuable copper, they get to sell that copper and subtract the income from their costs. The punchline is simple. The lower the AISC number, the more profitable the mine is. So what's Haviron's number? Get this, just $1,610 per ounce. That is exceptionally low. I mean, it officially puts this mine in the bottom quarter for costs in all of Australia, and that is a huge deal. 
It basically means this mine is a cash machine and it'll stay highly profitable even if the price of gold were to drop significantly. Now let's circle back for a second to that huge value number from the beginning. It's called net present value, or NPV. The simplest way to think about it is like this. Imagine you could collect all the profits this mine will ever make over its entire life and get it all in one giant check today. Well, the NPV is the number written on that check. And this is where it gets really, really exciting. That $2.9 billion valuation, that's actually the conservative base case using a pretty cautious long-term gold price. But if you redo the math using today's much higher gold price, well, the project's value skyrockets to $5.4 billion. That's just a massive amount of potential upside. So, a billion dollars to build all this, where does that come from? You might think that's a hurdle, but the answer is surprisingly simple. The project is already fully funded. Between a huge pile of cash they already have, debt all lined up for major banks, and ongoing cash flow from the existing tell for mine, the money is already in the bank. And finally, our last section. Because look, no project this big is ever a guaranteed slam dunk. We need to have a balanced look at what's ahead, both the massive growth potential and, you know, being realistic about the risks and challenges they need to manage. First, the upside. And wow, it is enormous. It goes way beyond just the current plan. There's another 3.1 million ounces of gold just sitting outside the planned mining area. The entire deposit is what they call open at depth, which just means they haven't found the bottom yet. There's likely more to find. Plus, you can add in future efficiencies from things like autonomous trucks and renewable energy to drive costs even lower. But of course, let's flip the coin. The risks are real, and they need careful management. Hitting that ambitious construction schedule is absolutely critical. Building the massive ventilation shafts is a seriously complex engineering task. They still need to get some key government approvals. And, like everywhere else, finding and keeping enough skilled workers is always a major challenge. So there you have it. That's Javieron. The numbers prove it's a world-class deposit. The plan is smart. The money's in the bank. All the ingredients are there. The final question is no longer about potential. It's all about execution. Can the team navigate these last complex hurdles and turn these incredible numbers on paper into a mountain of real gold? Now that is the billion-dollar question.